All right, guys. Hello. Good evening. Happy Tuesday. We're coming to you with a special Zoom for tonight because, of course, it is the beginning of the month. We are on August 3rd already. Um, there have been an announcements already for the month, so we know what we need to do and expect. Uh, for example, first thing we have going on is our pick two, pick three is still in existing. Um, now, so you're aware, the white mocha is not in the pick two, pick three, um, but don't worry, it's fine. People still love that price, and um, I'm having people buy the pick, buy four of them for one twelve instead of even worrying about that pick two, pick three. So, don't you worry about it. Everything does not have to be a pick two, pick three for people to be interested. So, don't even worry. Um, also, what we have is still going on is our weekly bonuses are still in effect. So for the rest of the month, you guys have uh, to take advantage of that. Started on Saturday till this Friday each week. When you enroll five customers, you get $100 the following Friday. If you enroll three, you get $20. So always work towards that five and utilize the max, uh, maxing out the compensation plan by taking advantage of that $100 each week. Um, what else we got in place still? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. What else is there? Five, what that means, zero five fifty. What that mean? What does fifty mean? Fifty percent promo codes are still right. Oh, thank you. Okay. Look at her trying to give me a hint, and I didn't get it. Okay, so the <laughs> off discount codes are still in effect for all you guys that have codes. You have received the email already because I did. So anyone can join your business for fifty dollars right now using your promo code, or they can join unlimitedly for half off if they add on the triple threat package, which will make their total $108.50, which is what I've had. So we haven't even used the codes. So it makes zero sense because you want them to be able to take advantage of the products. So remember that's unlimited. You do not need a code for them to take advantage of that promotion. Only thing they need to take advantage of with the promotion code is join in for $50. And of course we all only have our limited five codes and they're only for us and they cannot be shared. So please make sure you remember that. What else we got? What else we got as a promo? That's it? That sounds about yeah. it? Um, <clears throat> is, all the, is all the going diamond and stuff still existing too? I think they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all, all those. The re-ranking bonuses are still there for diamonds and above. Um, anything over subtotal of $99 gets free shipping anything over 200 i think it's that 10 percent off additional and everything so that's still available sounds good so y'all know what's in effect y'all know what's still there to utilize so now it's just putting that plan in place for it to become um what you needed to do for this month so if your goal for this month is to promote to the next rate by all means y'all already know what i'm going to tell you know exactly what you need to have is your group volume and divided by the number of days in this month. I think it's 31 of them. Yep. So divided by 31. So make sure you have that, that counted down to yourself and, and divide it. So for example, if you're going Ruby this month, that's 2000 BV. Divide that by 31 days in the month. That's 40, uh, 64 BV a day. Well, yeah, 65, let's go up. That's right, let's rough it up. 65 BV a day. Group BV now could be you and your team getting it together. So as of today, you should be at 195 BV to get to Ruby on point. Me personally, I will be over that because that's just me. I'm not trying to be leveled out just in case you have a day that falls flat. So always try to go on and beyond. If you are, uh, there you go. And if you're going for Emerald, you should be at about 162 as of right now for today. And if you're going for diamond, that means that's, that's 8,000 BV divided by 31 times three, you should be at 775 roughly. Would you get, would you get 260 from? <laughs> per day, 31 days. Diamond, oh, okay. sorry, diamond oh. is 260 roughly. Right? Okay, dang it, I thought you was on top of it giving me the total. Okay, so 775 is where you should be at today. If you're working on re-promoting, meaning maybe you were diamond, and right now, as of last month, you were paid as Ruby. Get back to Emerald and then get back to Diamond. Work your way back up structure and strong because that way you don't fall and you don't, you know, lose it. If you're working strongly 
and building your team strongly, then you won't lose it. So put, take that chart back out and get to work on doing it. Don't even be discourage yourself as though you fell behind in rank. Don't even worry about that. We don't have time to be worrying about that. With these promotions on the line and the different um, weekly bonuses we have and the promotions we have for people to join for half off and with the triple code, you're able to take advantage of that. So you don't have to worry about falling behind. By all means, you can get it back. I think those reload bonuses exist too, but you have that to take advantage of too. Is that a yes, Nicole? You'll look it up. Okay. I think reload is still there too. So you got a lot to take advantage of. So take up. So make sure you do that. Um, another thing I want to touch on is planning out your month. As far as mindset go, if you're planning out your month for this month, focus on making sure your, your month is planned out, meaning not only just your chart, but as far as what you want to do content wise for your live videos, what you want to do um, as far as your host to post like putting a plan together so that you're not just winging it every day and then you're stuck on not knowing what to do. So there's a lot of different things that you can take advantage of. For example, having a uh, following a lot of different leaders, um, looking at things they post, looking at lifestyle posts that they put up, um, copy pasting those lifestyle posts into your notes so that you have them for later dates to be able to use and post them. Um, it can be small, simple messages and posts like I do. It can be long drawn out uh, books and letters and, and um, what's that big word when they, novels. It can be those types, you know, if you wanna keep those and hold on to them, Lord knows, I don't know how you can write those every day. But if you need to keep up with those, by all means, take advantage of those. And that way you have content to be able to put out there. Um, another thing is, I have it wrote down and then of course now it's like, phew, it's gone. Oh, here it is. Um, also, I update my, my daily task every day as far as uh, a six list of things I wanna accomplish. You have your KPI sheets, which also give you that guidance. You have different corporate uh, power hours that exist throughout the weeks, which there's, they're in Pioneers group, they're in Team Hawaii, they're in um, Lion Chasers, they're in, they're in every group. So if you need to know exactly when the power hours exist, they are there. You have one on Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. You have one on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern, Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. You have a power hour Thursday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We have one on Saturdays for the enroller time from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern. We have one on Sunday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern. So there's a lot of chances to take advantage of different leaders giving you different tips on growth. If you're not on those Zooms and you have no way of getting tips on growth, you have to show up to be able to stay close to the fire, to be able to stay motivated and inspired to yourself to be able to grow. It's not gonna happen by just staying in the same environment you're in, in the house or around the negative people. If you're not around us or other people by being on these Zooms, then it, it, you're gonna be missing stuff. So another thing I like to do is log my volume every day, which I still do for the last two years. That's me continuing to every day going in my back office when I first wake up. It only, it, it's literally when I first wake up, I go look at eSuite and I just screenshot my group volume and my personal volume. And then I go screenshot how many enrollments we have for the month. And then I roll back over. Like literally, I get that done out the way so that it's screenshotted that way I know what it is before enrollments start coming in. And this is something I'm able to look at every day. And then I'm able to look at it for the following month before. I'm able to look at it from the following year before. And then what this is able to do is show me if I'm on track or above where I was the month before. So if you have not started that, that's a great thing to do in your calendar so that it shows you if you're on track towards being a beyond where you were the month before on that day. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, also, like I said, increase your power hours that you're on. If you're only on one a week, get on two. Like maximize it, get on three if you can. There's different leaders each power hour. So it's never the same. And if anything, it's gonna be something different where they're gonna add something different or they're gonna teach you a different thing that they're doing. So you'll be able to take advantage of that. Also um, increasing your host of posts. A lot of you guys are in different team um, host of posts that exist that you can take advantage of as far as being in big groups of um, large giveaways or things like that. We do those each month where we all put money into them to help you out with, with being a part of it to grow your network. 
That means you, it depends on which team you're on. You may or may not have put any money in, or you may or may not have had to put the whole entire thing in. But at the same time, take advantage of it. Like it's freaking sitting there for you to use. Take advantage of it. I mean, it is literally giving you a way of having more people join your network by you just simply telling the host to post for you. I'm not sure how hard it is for somebody to get a host to post done, but it shouldn't be that hard. There's 15 to 30 different ways of doing host to post. There's you putting up a host to post. There's you going into the inbox and asking them to do it for you. It's literally 50 ways. Yes, you getting a new loyal customer and then telling them to put a host to post up, saying that they just placed an order or just in general, putting up a host to post like that easy. Like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for your order today. Can you do me a favor and post on your wall about blah, blah, blah? Or how about when they get their products and they use it? Can you do me a favor and post the product that you just use and tag me? Like I literally got a girl that every day, almost every day, will make her keto coffee and tag me in that post. I mean, I ain't never do the host of host for her. I should, that would have been nice because that's technically a host, post, but I didn't. But she literally does it every day and tags me in the host of post and showing that she's making the coffee and how it tastes. Or I have people that, that, that will um, do them for me. Okay. Or I have other people that would do it for me where it's the same way. So it's not hard. If you guys can do me a favor while y'all on here, go, in the, com go in, the, uh, in the comments right now and put your different host of post messages that you send through inbox in there. And then Tasha, if you can put the ones that you utilize on putting on your Facebook wall in there, this will give you zero excuses on why you cannot get up at least 50 host of posts a week. Now I'm not saying 10 a day, I'm saying 50 a week. This gives you time to have your Sabbath day. This gives you time to have that one lazy day and still have 10 up a day. Or if you do like I do or like Tasha doing, you do maximizing of many a day, then by all means do it. But whatever way you need to do that, you need to utilize doing way more host to post. I know my team alone, we literally had ended at 300 host to post last month, which is very, very unacceptable considering maybe five people did it. So you need to improve on host to post. And I know a lot of you guys also have the same issue. It should not only be the leaders that's putting up 50 host to post a week. It should not only be the people that's ready to grow their business putting up 50 a week. It should be everyone that's looking to make a difference. This is not just something that I'm able to do and excel at. This is something everybody can do and excel at. We're giving you every tip we have. We're giving you every reason to be successful. You have so many people that's open to help you with getting anything you want done, where all you got to do is ask, communicate. It's super simple and easy to do. So if y'all can just help out, put all the messages in there. Danita, put your inbox messages you use for host to post in there. Um, Kamanka, um, Queen Mary, whoever, all y'all. Uh, LA, AKA, you can put yours in there. Whatever y'all got that y'all use and put in for host to post. Um, and I believe, oh, and print your chart. By all means, your chart should be printed. So print that chart and every day update it. Use a pencil, update it every day so that you make sure you accomplish the goal. As each box gets to 400, highlight it, move on to the next. But make sure your goal is out there. And wherever you ended last month on a box that was not completely at where it needed to be is where your focus point should be this month. You should be focusing on what a weak spot was last month to strengthen that and then go back and look at what that strength was and make sure it stays strengthened. And that's all I got, Rusty. You can close this out and finish up what, what well, you got. Well, you don't need no more what we just heard, but you know what? Um, <laughs> I, I do want to challenge you um, which product you like best. And if you'll go live, everyone, I've seen some of them, you can begin to go live every day, uh, a few times a week. Uh, the stories are very compelling. And you're not selling anything when you're sharing a product that you like, whether it's the skinny brew, the cold brew, the keto coffee, the greens, the reds, whatever. If, if you're going out there, see people, they're not buying it works. They're about not buying this product. They're going to buy you first. And that what that does, it creates a trust with you to, to your audience. And when they trust you, they're going to buy what you like and, and, and the results that you're getting because they want what? the same kind of results. So what you're doing is also crafting your story. It is another way to hold you accountable if you're gonna be on there almost every day, at least three or four times a week, 
it's an accountability for you. One, you're going to use the product, you're going to get the results. And number two, you're sharing something with passion. Once you share it with passion, it becomes a conviction, and then, then you become contagious. And when people hear your voice, it's something about that it, true, genuine excitement that people hear and see from you where you're making your coffee or whatever it is you're doing. People say, wow, I like her. I like him. I believe I need to try it. And you'll be surprised how many messages you're going to start to get when you're very consistent on, on building your audience to what you're doing. And that creates an attraction. And you start to attract the like uh, uh, people of like mind. You, do you know why? Because they like you and they're going to start to think like you. They're going to have a, re a relationship with you, but they're going to relate very well to you. And when people relate well with you, they're going to create, it creates one thing, trust. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. And, and how do they trust you? Well, you keep showing up. You're, you're consistent. Over the course of time, you'll be surprised how big your audience will get. It'll go into the thousands of views for your, uh, your, your Facebook Live or your Instagram Live or whatever, whichever live you're doing. And, and you know what? The one thing that I, I found out in the last couple of weeks, when people trust you because they've seen you a very long time doing the same consistent thing, they don't mind sharing your story or what you're doing with other people. And therefore you create a desire. Well, she's having success with that product. And we can have success because why? Wow, if we try it, they'll do it because, well, we trust her because she's there every single day, or at least three or four times a week, every week, I, just like clockwork. And what you're doing is building your audience. You're branding yourself. And when you start to brand yourself, guess what happens? That's what this whole thing is about. You branding you. And once you start to brand you, you brand yourself uh, uh, because you're, you're trusted. And that creates a brand that people, what, they want to accept, but then they're going to talk about you. And when they start to talk about you, they're going to what? They're going to put their attached their name to your brand and give you, the, uh, they're going to share it with their influence because what? They know, like, and trust you because you're what? You've been very consistent and you got the before and afters. And when you make up your mind, that's what you're going to do. So that leads me to uh, you writing your comeback story. I don't care where you are, what you were, where you are, where you're going. It don't matter. From, to, from five minutes ago to the day you're born doesn't matter any longer. It's what you do right now forward. And it's how you're going to engage your audience tomorrow. How you're going to engage and take care of you is because you, you have the pen. Don't ever allow nobody to, to write your story of your life. We all have so much time in life. The clock is ticking. You don't have any time to waste, nor do I. And so when you make up your mind, I'm going to get very specific on my, my specific plan of action. Like, like uh, Carissa said, there's all kinds of tools for you to use out there. And, and whatever leaders you like, what you do is if you relate well to their story or you relate well to their personalities, uh, find out what they're doing and how they're getting it done. And if you duplicate success, there's absolutely no way you can't be successful. It just can't. Success leaves clues, but also it, it it pioneers a trail. That's why you're in the pioneer group. It pioneers a trail for what? As you blaze that particular trail, it gets a little bit bigger. It gets a little smoother for other people to come and follow us through that particular trail because what? We've been through the thicket. We've saw the trees down. We put the gravel down. And now we're paving the way to what? To make it a little bit easier for you guys because what? We've, we've just been out there uh, slinging and swinging and we've got the scars on us and we got broken legs and cramped muscles from slinging that axe and chopping those trees down as we pioneer this trail. And what we want to do is we want to make it easier for you to go out and be more successful. And every one of you add value to what we're doing. We're not saying we know it all. You might come up with two words. It will change the entire course of the entire team as to where we're going and how we're going to get there. But you got to be focused on the dream, what you want to do with your physical health, where you want to go every single day. And you know what? Some of you are just sitting in the car. You got your foot on the gas, except you ain't put in gear yet. And uh, once you put it in drive and you punch it, you'll be surprised how fast you go from where you are to anywhere you want to go. And I was talking to one the older fellow when, uh, when I was younger, when you, you everything used to be stick shift, straight gears, and they come out with automatic. And he said, what is that R for? Does that race? I said, no, that's reverse. You put it in reverse, and you're going to go backwards. And so you stay focused on the windshield in drive, and you hit the gas. There'll be times you need to slow up to go around the curve. The curve is nothing more than a learning process. And when you get through the learning process, you straighten back out, and you hit that straightaway, and you give it the gas. Here you go again. And you know what? That's the way life is, period. 
And so when you make up your mind, this is what we're going to do. The one thing you don't want to do, never make an excuse as to why you are where you are. It does not matter. I mean, an excuse is just more than an excuse. An excuse is nothing more than you're lying to yourself about why you aren't where you are. So get you an accountability partner, somebody that will hold you accountable for what you said and what you said you want. But you've got to show up every single day. Why does the sun come up every day? Irregardless of there's clouds out there, is it snowing or raining? The sun's still up over uh, above those clouds. And that's why you got light during the course of the day. And on those beautiful sunny days when it comes up, that is a, a what I call a rebirth. There's another shot for you to go out and, and accomplish whatever God put into your heart, into your life. And I believe every one of you are here for a particular reason. You're not here by accident. I don't believe in accidents, not at all. I believe everything is a particular plan and purpose. But when that sun comes up and you get up and you apply yourself in a particular manner that adds value and enriches other people's lives, that's what you do when you follow all the instructions she just gave you. You get on in your life, you're sharing your passion with conviction. That's what gets people's attention. And over the course of time, when you're very consistent, that's what people love. Because here in this area of time, all you hear outside of what we're doing is a bunch of excuses. People making excuses and blaming everybody else as to why I can't get off my ass and do nothing. And you know what? I, I got a low tolerance for that stuff. You know, after 20 years, we're still nailing it. We're, we're going after it harder than we ever did. Because what? The perfect storm is going to start to happen in September. If I didn't believe one of you would share this thing, I'd begin to tell you what it's going to be like. But I'm pretty sure one of you is going to tell somebody, oh, I would never. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'll get a call. Did you tell it? Uh, tell what? You're going to have to trust me on this. And why should you trust me? Well, I've been here going 20 years. I've never breached my word to Mr. Pentecost. Never. Not once. Not even with my wife. If he has to tell me something, I normally get in my truck and I drive off. And I'm by myself. That's how much I respect our relationship. But when I tell you, I would work harder this month than I've ever worked in my entire life. I would set goals higher than I've ever set goals. I would bring in more customers every week. I would, I would maximize every dollar they got out there because you're setting something up. It's going to be monstrous when we get through with conference. It's going to send your business into orbit. That's not a joke. I've just been here too long. I know how the man thinks. And I communicate with him every single day, every day, seven days a week, and have for many, many years. You know why? Because way back yonder, we dreamed about where we were going and we're here, but we're nowhere close to where we're really going. And you know what? We want you to go with us. And we want to take you there because we believe you deserve to live the life that we've been living all these years. We believe your children deserve it. We believe your grandchildren deserve it. We believe when you have great grandkids, they're going to deserve it. It's what you do now. See, they, they're trying to sell us that we're in a time of adversity. Every time something bad happens in the world, there's, gonna there's a certain echelon of people that step up and step out and outwork everybody else. And you create, this becomes an opportune time. To me, in my, in my belief system, it's the most opportune time I've lived in almost my 60 years of existence. And we work all these years to, for a time like this. And why I'm excited, I get to share it with y'all. I get to share this experience with each one of you and just to see you grow and to see you come out there and share your dreams and visions with other people. And I see you how you enrich other people's lives because what you show up every day and you go to work. I've never seen one person not in our millionaires club, not in, in my part of the organization or not in anything. People that have ever been successful didn't get up and bust their ass and go to work and, and, and put, put it all in. And when you start to put it all in, you start to put it in with heart. You cannot beat a human being that's playing with heart. When they have the desire to succeed so bad that they've gone all in, they're the ones that walks off the field with the dirtiest uniforms. They got blood flying out the side of their arms, got the skint knees, the cleats have been ripped about off because they went out there and they, they left it all on the line. And that's where you are now. You, you, you need to go out and make up your mind. I'm going to leave this on the line, the conviction in the heart. And I'm doing this for a while. When I look at my two daughters now, the last 20 years of us being a full-time family, and then my daughters are grown now, and I'm seeing how successful they're becoming with what we're doing and how successful they're becoming in life, that 20 years of being a full-time family is worth every struggle we ever went through. Everything we put on the line back then is worth it, but it wasn't worth it for just my family. It's worth it for your family, too. And for you guys, it's putting in your new distributors and all those new customers on some of these new people who just got in. You know, the shout out we want to give you is pretty phenomenal. 
But I'm gonna tell you what, you're changing people's lives one person at a time. Every customer you get, you're gonna put something in their hands that's gonna change the course of their, their future and in the, in the way they feel their, their health. Every time you put somebody in here, when we just can complete those three steps to success every month and you teach them how to duplicate that effort, you're putting them one step closer to changing the, the future generations of their family. How do I know this? Well, I got here 20 years. 20 years and we're still doing it. We're still just as excited today as we were when we got in. Actually, we're more excited. Do you know why? Because it ain't just four or five of us or a few hundred of us. There's thousands of us and it's all, it's all of y'all. The impact you're having on people around you, you have no idea the impact you have in this very second. What you did on your social media today, your, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your, your some of your family members is watching what you do. There she goes again, but this time you're going to change uh, up their perception of, you know why? Because you're not going to quit. You're going to get up and you're going to make it happen. You've been put in a position to win. And you know what? All you got to do is follow the system. You don't have to really fight for this win. Just follow the system and get up every day and show up. And when you show up, you go up and you don't, you'll stop just going through, through life. You're going to start to grow through life. Everything you do will cause you to grow from one day to the next. And when you're in a growth stage, you know what? That's where the, the, the luscious fruit start, uh, uh, the fruits of your labor starts that you start to be able to harvest that, that, that harvest because you're in a, in a position to grow. I don't care what you have. I ain't done in your whole life. If I were you. Everybody I could come in contact, I make eye contact with. If I got in three foot of you, or there's on social media, messenger, text, phone number, or I'm out and about like I am a lot nowadays, I'm getting back out and we start flying out again next week. You're going to hear about what I'm doing. You're going to hear about what I'm doing. And I'm going to tell it in such a way you're going to start to ask questions because I'm so excited about my own personal story. People want to know how you've done it, they want more information. And at that point, you get the information to them. Something that they can read and sink into. But here's where the key is to this whole deal. is how consistent and how well are you following up? If you ain't following up, you ain't going to go up. Well, I don't want to bother them. Well, hell, if you watch TV, they said in a three-hour span, you're going to have 30 or 40 commercials of the same. That little general, that ugly little guy, little cartoon, and that little Geico guy. I looked at it the other evening. Man, they, they just blew it up. That's why I don't watch TV any longer. I don't want to see that general nor that little lizard, but if they can keep them in front of you like that, and you know what? They, they plant the seed in the head. That is the consistent follow-up. About every two minutes, they're following up with that commercial. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. And then they got you convinced at the end of it. That's why they call it programming. When you make up your mind, I followed up with a lady today, and you know what? She said, I didn't realize you cared enough about me to stay with me. I said, you know, the reason that I wouldn't follow up with you today is because something bad would have happened. And I went to see Jesus. But you're that important to me. You know why? Because I want you to feel like I feel. You told me what you needed, and I'm here for you. I'm here to do one thing. Every one of us, don't, I'm closing out right here. You're nothing more than a servant. It's called servant leadership. And when you make up your mind, I'm going to serve them better than they've ever been served. This is not a hustle. This is not me bothering you, worrying you, or trying to get you to buy something. No, I'm serving you at this particular point. But when you have that mind shift of how you're going to serve, your, your sphere of influence, how you're going to serve your distributors, how you're going to serve your customers, they're going to start to talk about you. I've got people on here are, are getting ready to be on here. They're going to upgrade uh, this week to reps. You know why? Because we've served them so well, they started bringing the other customers. I said, why don't we just pay you for that? You're already doing what I do. And you know what? When people feel like that you care about them that, that, that much, you're not, you're not harassing or bothering people trying to just, they stayed on me top of the ball. No, uh, uh, uh. you're serving that person because you have something, what? Something of value that would change the course of their life. It adds value to their life. And when you start to become a person of value, you offer nothing but value. You're like one of the best stocks in the world. You're off of value and people want to be with you because what? You're going somewhere. And when you're going somewhere and you're an adventurous person and you, you're doing your job correctly or running your business correctly, people want to go with you. Nobody really wants to be left behind, but everybody, they might not even remember your name in 20 years, but they will remember that you, how you made them feel by your servant leadership, by following up this, hey, how you doing? Good afternoon. I hope you have a great day. You don't always have to be talking about a product or a business. That starts to what, build a what? Trust with people. And people that trust you, they will recommend you and they want to do business with you because what? 
you're enriched your life and you're adding value. So Carissa, you actually want to tell them what you and I are into today? We want to prolong. Uh, I think if it's okay with you, Carissa, let's prolong the people we know has already earned it. But let's give some more people a chance to earn that if it's okay. Now, this particular day, I'll be in the air. Hopefully, I'll get to the airport in time to be get in front of a Zoom somewhere where we can actually do it. Um, but I'll have it all taken care of before I get to jet. Okay. Yeah. Well, first off, say goodbye to these people. They on the recording. Sorry, y'all should have been live. Sorry, guys. <laughs>